Bill and Rosalie Furler, Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Hey, welcome to our beach this morning. I'm quite excited. Uh, I feel like I've got a loaded cannon and a heart full of the Word of God. And it's a special occasion here. It's Easter weekend here in Australia, and it would be all over the world. Uh, and we want to reflect, even as these uh, sun rays are already beginning to reflect across the ocean here. And it's going to be a beautiful sunrise this morning, and hope you enjoy it. It's all about Jesus this weekend. It's all about the cross. It's all about remembering what he done for us on the cross. The Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 3 and 4 that Christ died for us according to the scriptures. That he was buried and he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. Let's have a look at this this morning. Let's have a look at the fact that Christ died for us on the cross over 2,000 years ago. When John the Baptist saw Jesus coming, he said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Now this is good news today. This is good news that Jesus takes away the sin of the world. When Jesus was dying on that cross, darkness began to cover the land and, and Jesus said, It is finished. The work of salvation from eternity was now finished. The perfect Lamb of God was slain and that we can now have forgiveness of sin. Hey, this is good news today. We can have forgiveness of sin, but it's through faith in the blood that was shed on the cross. We've got to believe it. We have to believe it. Otherwise, it doesn't work. If we have faith in the blood that Jesus spilt on the cross for us, then we are justified from all things. That means just if we'd never sinned. Now, it is good news today. It's all about Jesus. It's all about the cross. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says that God made him to be sin, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Hey, praise God that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Isaiah 61.10, Isaiah the prophet said, I rejoice greatly in the Lord. I rejoice in God because he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has wrapped me in a robe of righteousness. What changed my life forever when I begin to believe what God had said about me that now I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Too good to be true, I thought it was for a start, but when I begin to believe it, it happened. Now there is no condemnation to those that are in Christ. Now I am free from the law of sin and death. Now the spirit of life of God is working within my life. Now I am crucified with Christ. Yet I am living. But I am living by the faith I have in the Son of God who loved me and died for me. So we need to identify with Jesus in his death, in his burial love you to read Romans chapter 6 and in his resurrection because the grave couldn't keep him down it says after three days he rose again according to the scripture he rose again triumphant over all sin sickness disease and over all the work of the enemy victorious a conqueror to reign forever and ever so God has quickened us together in Christ and he's raised us up together in Christ and he's made us sit together in Christ above all principality and power. It's all about the cross, you know. Easter's all about the cross, the death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ for us, for you and I today. It's all good news today. We're bringing tidings of good things today the Bible says by grace you are saved through faith not of works lest any man should boast it's a gift of God a free gift of God I want you to let your faith loose today in this free gift and receive it today receive it in the name of Jesus I want you to have a great day thanks for joining us on the beach here for this Easter service